are at One Crown Place. Now we're currently on the 27th floor, which is home to the duplex penthouse. Now the penthouse has this private landing area when you come out the lift. We have dual aspect views and a nice seating area just behind me. Now let's head through and check out this home. Here we are inside the penthouse. Now this home features three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and has just under 3,000 square feet of living space. This home is asking 8,625,000 pounds. For more information on this penthouse, you can check the description down below. Now we're starting to tour off here in the entryway, which is a generous amount of space. We have your engineered hardwood floors in here. And one detail that I love is just beneath my feet, you have this stone inlay, which is a great contrast and really catches your eye when you enter the penthouse. Now to my right, we have the staircase leading up to the second floor, which we'll see later on in the tour. Let's head through to the open plan reception and dining area, just through here. And this is the showstopper in this home. Starting off in the reception, I mean, incredible. We have your triple height ceilings, and then we can't miss the dual aspect views, floor to ceiling windows. We have south and west facing views. Now the interior designer of this space is Sophie Ashby. To my left, we have your built in TV unit. And one cool touch is behind this art piece, we actually have your TV. And I mean, how cool is that? Creativity and art plays a huge role in one crown place and this penthouse. So I've invited Lucy, a content creator and art enthusiast to talk us through the pieces. Lucy, over to you. Well, let me start off by telling you about this amazing piece behind me. This is a perfect example of abstract art. Abstract art in itself is non-representational, basically. So it means it doesn't actually represent anything you see on earth. At its surface level, it's just squishy paint on a canvas, but it can be so much more than that and add so much depth to your room. Look at the colors here. It's got this really nice kind of bronzy terracotta color with little pickups of that brownish red in the rest of it. The interior designer has designed this space around this painting and pulled from the colors. Like you can see in the chair over here, it is that bronzy terracotta color. And even this kind of pops of pink and the grayish color looks like the grayish pinkish color on the rug. But it's so much more than that. The building that we're in, in itself, is an art piece. Artist Sig Evan worked with the designers of the building to create an art piece out of the entire architecture. He used these paintings by an artist named John Constable called The Cloud Studies. And they were these paintings that he made that were inspired by the movement and the colors of the sky as a way to study them. Now, Sig Evans used these paintings and he used the building and the surroundings of it to create an art piece. So not only are you surrounded by these amazing art pieces, inside you're literally standing in one. And what better place to put London's largest painting than in the sky. And that is abstract art and also the reception room. Now let's head over to the dining area. We have seating for six here and it's been well designed. Now as we make our way around into the kitchen, down this long hallway, we also have underfloor heating and comfort cooling all on the ground floor. I want to start off on the quartz countertop, which is super eye-catching. We have your natural stone backsplash, which has been book matched, built-in appliances by Vizag here, induction hob. And as we make our way around, we have a full sink, cabinetry above. Coming around, we have your double Vizag ovens. And then through this door, we have the fridge and freezer. and then plenty of storage through these doors in your timber veneers. Now, one of my favorite parts of this penthouse is the outside space. Follow me through this door. And would you take a look at this? How incredible is this? You could practically see everything from here. Every major monument is right at your doorstep. We have St. Paul's Cathedral, the London Eye, One Blackfriars, the Shard, and we also have the City of London and Canary Wharf. Now let's head back inside and check out the bedroom suites. Follow me. Here we are back in the hallway. Let's head through and check out the first bedroom just through here. 
queen size bed set up here. We have a water wall headrest in a suede finish. And it's also complemented with these art pieces. On my left here, we have this nice vanity unit. As we come through, we have your floor to ceiling windows. And then through here, we have the ensuite bathroom. Stepping in, freestanding bathtub. Overlooking the city, we have north and west facing views. And I mean, who wouldn't want to be sitting in this bathtub, enjoying a glass of wine, and those views as the sun sets. Making our way through here, we have a double vanity set up here, toilet through this glass door, wrapped in a stone finish, and then we have your walk-in shower here, and that's the first bedroom. But we're not done on this floor just yet. If we make our way back through to the hallway, there is something quite cool which I'd like to show you. Now through here, we have additional storage through these wardrobes, but then we also have a small toilet through here. And what I love about this room is, first of all, the freestanding vanity. Brass finishes, the details in this penthouse you're gonna see all throughout are stunning. And that is this bathroom and storage space. Now let's head back to the hallway. We have your staircase leading up to the second floor where the bedroom suites continue. Let's head upstairs now and check out the second floor. All right, here we are on the second floor of the duplex penthouse. You have a cozy seating area here, and then a second entrance, which leads you directly to the second floor. So the resident, if they wanna go straight to their bedroom, they come through this door. Now through here, we have the study. Just before we touch on a study, guys, if you're liking these tours, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so we can keep them coming. Now, this is the desk set up here, overlooking the reception. You also get those tremendous views. Now to my right, it leads us through to the second bedroom. We have this long hallway leading into the room. Vanity set up here, great for getting ready from. Now this overlooks the terrace and the rest of the city. And as we make our way down, we have your wardrobes here. Now, touching once again on the art pieces, the interior designer is known to pick the art pieces first and then design the spaces around the art. So you're gonna see a lot of matching tones, some great vibes all throughout the space. Now, just behind me, we have the bedroom. I love the beachy tones in here. We have your blues, your yellows, your whites. Art pieces just above the bed. And then, of course, in front of the bed, floor to ceiling windows once again. Now, just through here, we have the ensuite bathroom. Gorgeous stone finishes throughout. Built-in vanity unit here. We have a huge walk-in shower. And that's the second bedroom. Now let's go check out what everybody's been waiting for. And that's the primary bedroom suite. Let's go check it out. Through here, we have the primary bedroom suite. As we step through, I love how we have this walk-through wardrobe with tons of wardrobe space. And here we are in the bedroom. We have dual aspect views and so much space. I mean, this has to be one of the biggest primary bedrooms we've toured in a penthouse in a long time. We have your bed set up here, two bedside tables, complemented with your art piece above. As we come around, vanity unit here, overlooking the views, and then we have this cozy oasis, which you can enjoy all times of the day. Now the bedroom doesn't finish just yet, as through here, we have the ensuite bathroom, stepping through, freestanding bathtub here. And then just behind me, we have this double vanity unit. And I love this deep green finish on the stone. Even the tiles have been well thought out. Now around here, we have the walk-in shower. And I mean, look how huge this walk-in shower is. And of course, we're finished off with a rainfall shower head. And that's one crown place in the city of London. We have incredible views, well thought out interior design and triple height ceilings. For more tours like this, guys, check out the next two videos that's gonna pop up on the screen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.